I, I can barely believe we finished all that. And that is definitely the most salad I think I've ever had in my life. What do you think of So, in one sitting. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm stuffed. It's incredible that we have to admit to this, but it might be a time for a salad nap for the first time ever. I promise this is not a salad food challenge, but you might think that, seeing the table. Most massive salads, hands down. That was actually, I think, the smallest salad on the menu. Whoa. Wow. If you want to talk about farm to table, there are probably no places that I know better than this one in Chiang Mai or just ever. This is one of the original farm to table restaurants where I learned what farm to table even was. So I'm going to show you how they do it and then we are going to have a great lunch all together here today. name Suan Pak Hang Satta. I've never seen such a small banana tree blossoming. It's so pretty. Today maybe a little bit of of an admission to you, kind of a confession. I want to always inspire you to go out and explore the areas around where you live. I have not been doing that because we have been traveling so much. I actually have uh, quite a silver lining in this time of, of restricted travel. It is a great chance for us to explore what is right here in Thailand. We are quite excited so, to get out, learn about new places right around here. So one of the, one of the bigger places you are going to want to visit when you come to Chiang Mai is this O Gat Ju. Let's go check it out. Okay, so a very cool sign as you walk into the restaurant. So I'm just going to translate. These are difficult words in Thai, actually. Satta is like faith, right? So it says, Kamni mi palang pi ying yai, man to palang samaki. So it means faith. In our definition, this is a big word, a word with deep meaning for confidence in working towards unity. Talking about the concept of farm to table, the size of the farm that had that exists here in Chiang Mai to support all those tables. It is just glorious when it is possible. So if you remember the video yesterday, that was basically the smaller end, the complete opposite end of this farm to table idea. So that at the smaller end, you have just a very small group of dedicated, uh, completely holistic type focus, every aspect of daily life. Okay, now this is a restaurant, almost industrial scale of organic, which at first you might think oh, industrial doesn't sound good, but I want organic farming on the scale of industry. That is exactly what I want, I to want promote healthy living and a real healthy lifestyle. So this is kind of cool in here. This is one of the sections that is not open during the time of some COVID restrictions, but it's pretty. Those vines are like completely covering the entire tunnel right there. Pretty cool. So we're just gonna explore the garden. Back. Oh yes, immediately check that out. Um, I think in English it's called a gak fruit. Yeah, I think that's what it is in, in Thai. Fuck how. So you can see this place is so big. I've been here at least five times and I don't even know all the details of their story. But it, it's like that, it's a very human story. Wow, yeah, this is what's possible when you have dedication to an idea and when you have the, the climate of Chiang Mai to support you. Oh, got you, robot. Awesome. So this guy's working hard, keeping all of these chilies free from weeds and he has let us come in here to see this environment. Wow, that is incredible, dude. Mark Sappy, he noticed where they keep the chilies. 
ว้าวกี่กี่ชนิดครับเซนติกนมอย่างเดียวว้าว that is a load but yeah wait till you see the restaurant ขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมาก I thought Chiang Mai was already humid. Nope, this is like proper tropical environment in here. Yeah. Wow, it's just amazing how plentiful. Like, look, there are like six giant chilies on just this small plant. Look at this one. Yeah, they're so healthy. We're gonna be eating a lot of these very soon. I hope. Okay, after that little farm tour, oh man, I have to say, besides what I learned. I'm hungry. Let's go inside. Let's eat. I guess I can just say the decoration is eclectic. It can show these guys just have put their own hobbies, their own interests, all around the restaurant. The one that I know, that location, also is just decorated with like airplanes and cartoons. Even for me, even though I've been to the other location many times, I got to learn something new about the name just now. Oh, got you. Oh, and you are not the names of the guys. It's actually, uh, let me think about this. Jo and O in Thai, it's called Kam Puan Kam. Jo ka O. They changed the name to Oh Got Jo just to be very cute. That's it. Okay, the entrance is gorgeous. So they have some recommendations and a safety check. Let's do that right now. Okay. Check. Check. Nice. Oh, I missed the oh the automatic dispenser. Check out the story. The farmer, the chef, and the engineer. If you want to know their story, they have a an entire book. You, 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 you. I remember from the other restaurant looking at their menu. Their menu is basically a complete guide. Everything you would want to know about organic produce and the farm-to-table philosophy. And if you just want to eat, flip to the next page, and they have more salad options than you may have ever seen in your whole life. And it's so amazing that they're all sourced right here. On the back, Mark. Oh, cool. On the back, on the back in vegan. Okay, so the restaurant is not a vegan restaurant. It is a completely organic restaurant. But of course, they have tons of vegan options coming from that huge. Greenhouse. Number. Number five. I'm gonna go for this one. Number five. Build your own salad. All the options in this menu. Amazing amount. You could sit here literally for 45 minutes. Huge. Wait till you see the size of the dishes. It's basically there are Thai dishes, completely Thai recipe, and then there are like fusion dishes using local ingredients. Like there's even something like Mexican nachos here. I think we're ready to eat. Okay, so Mark is sharing some of his juice with me. That is like the smoothest, richest beetroot, just clean and cold. Oh yeah, it's cold pressed. It is. It is incredible. The beetroot flavor is definitely the main flavor, but there are so many vegetables pressed in there. Wow. Here are just out of control with the presentation, size, wow, and the flavor as everything is so fresh. I promise this is not a salad food challenge, but you might think that seeing the table. Oh, got you. 
most massive salads, hands down. That was actually, I think, the smallest salad on the menu, right there. Yeah. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. To give a bonus garden. This is okra salad. Mm -hmm. So, no, because we ordered so much, they give a bonus. Entire, another garden. It is amazing. All of them are family serving size. Mom and Dad are gonna love it. Yeah, Dad will love this one. That's one salad. Oh, like, oh, pee, 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 pee. All seven oh, items happy. are like family size <laughs> servings. It's amazing here. And delicious. I mean, just so tasty. Wow. Okay, so Mark and I both did the build your own salad. Yeah. Mark's is awesome with the grilled vegetables. Makes it look so pretty. And then I went with the pumpkin beetroot, fresh, uh, sorry, sweet pepper, which also makes it look so awesome and colorful. And yeah, that sesame, the homemade dressing just smells so awesome. Oh, Micah, you're eating well today, Micah. <laughs> it's so pretty. The mushrooms look awesome. I get dig down in there, see all the different vegetables. Oh yeah, remember this is the mixed salad, so it should have 12 different types of vegetables. And then I picked the pumpkin, grab that one, and then the beetroot, which is my favorite. Oh yeah, you can smell, it's almost like, almost like nutty, but not peanut. It's the black and white sesame dressing. And I think it's time to dump and mix. Salad. I think we should move over into the the ultra salad. Just, yeah, beans, cucumber, and microgreens too. You've made a great choice with the avocado salad. It is again the presentation is just so attractive. You don't even miss the meat. You don't even need to think about it. It's so awesome. Except there is a 18 kilogram piece of meat in the frame. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about that. <laughs> okay. straight from Bangkok, coming straight to Hokkaido and ordering like four or five of these and drinks, and that's it. You can see why. The presentation is incredible. Those are herbs. was the floor manager giving us a bit more background, but they now have nine. So I knew they had at least three, but Bangkok has seven locations. So congratulations to Okatu for expanding, for bringing, I guess, what would be just your average city dwelling citizen into just knowledge and excitement for a more healthy lifestyle. Definitely the most salad I think I've ever had in my life. What do you think of it? So, in one sitting. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Your stuff. It's incredible. Yeah. We have to admit to this, but it might be a time for a salad nap for the first time ever. This is pure and healthy and very honest and open. I love, I love that concept. And you know, 
Uh, the menu items, they are all amazingly good value for the money. But if you're coming just by yourself, that build your own salad is only 50 baht. There are tons of other ingredients you can add on top of it, but that, the base salad is just 50 baht. Just before you walk into the restaurant, a very cool, like old, kind of faded, but very cool picture map of the city of Chiang Mai. There you can see easy. There's the second branch and should be, there it is, the first branch right here. That's where we are right now. And I live right down this way. Check this out. These are called Fakao. Just one of the amazing examples, one of the many amazing examples of local fruit you can find in Chiang Mai. The restaurant is huge. There are so many different areas you can sit. Actually, it goes like A, B, C. I think we were actually sat in section Y. So besides the fact that they have huge restaurant, that also shows they have great business and they are really doing well in the mission against big food. They are making great headway one person at a time. You saw all the information in that menu. It's basically a learning experience coming here to eat. You saw the portion sizes are incredible. The food is all bright, colorful, but it's so healthy. And that is the most important part. To me, I love what they are doing and I am happy to support this. So that is it for today. I am right here in the middle of the garden saying goodbye, saying so long. And I hope this video has interested you in more of the options. Eating healthy does not have to be boring. A healthy lifestyle can be a very fun lifestyle and I hope to inspire you to follow a little bit of my own experience in that. Chiang Mai is working out very well right now. Don't forget to send me messages about different places that you have found, things that have inspired you. I hope you're having a great day today. Peace from Okatu in Chiang Mai. Okay, so just want to show you a little view. Even the bathroom is so cool. It's like a continuation of the garden, right into the bathroom. Okay everyone, so as I said, this is kind of a throwback video. You can see, hopefully, I've improved a little bit, but this really is such a cool memory and I'm still waiting for the next time that I can hang out with Mark, explore cool food, not only street food. As you can see, this restaurant is, is just amazing, such a concept such a beautiful concept here. Another thing that I love about Chiang Mai, riding up mountains with my friends. And at the end of this, you will see the next day, <laughs> the place where I took Mark, and I'm sure you have enjoyed that video by now. Anyways, I'll leave you with this a beautiful viewpoint. This is Noi Suter, right next to Chiang Mai. Hope you are having a great day today. All things good, much love, peace. See you for the next one. That is a happy man. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Okay. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. This guy is just such a nice guy. Lucky to meet him. That's awesome. <laughs>